And inevitably, when you take a visual production from the stage and uh, make it into a film, uh, there, you know, there are certain limitations and changes. Um, although the movie retains quite a bit of the look of the original stage version. Um, and then, then you have the Havana scenes, which are more realistic. So how do you think those transitions work? Um, do you think we've lost something from the stage version? Honestly, that's where theatrical people hate the people in the movie business. Because in the movies, you can go like this, and it changes. So there's no time for you to lose your interest. On stage, we have to find a way to make that happen without you losing your interest. And in the old days, Guys and Dolls would, was written as, an, as what we call an in-one show. So you see a big scene, then there's an in-one scene where the curtain comes in and a few people play down in front of the curtain with no set while the set is being changed in the back. In a movie like this, like we, what we just saw tonight, you don't have to do that. And there are some images in this movie that have become some of the most famous movie musical images ever. That very first shot of the sewer, for luck be a lady, I mean, you see that and your, your whole body just goes, oh, it's finally here, you know? And, um, and that, most of this movie is copied most of the times you see this show. Our version is not copying this movie.